Michelle on the spot. Oh. Oh, yeah. We're going to tell you. Okay. Oh. All right, welcome back. Could the key to intimacy be more time apart? A new survey from the National Sleep Foundation finds that almost one in four married couples sleeps in separate beds or separate rooms. Join me today to dive into this little <laughs> nugget is nugget. Kara Kinnear, Hello. relationship expert, Dr. <laughs> Tiffany Davis Henry, and New York Times bestselling author hey. and relationship expert, Hello. Hal Runkle. Hello. Yes. Kara and I said before the show, like, we're just gonna let them <laughs> chat. Um, right. All right, who here regularly sleeps apart, whether that be in a separate bed or separate room from their spouse? You're not telling me? No, I don't. I don't. Yes. You don't? No, I okay. don't. Okay. I didn't know if that was something that you wouldn't want to, anybody wouldn't want to share, do you? I'll tell you this. Okay. Well, because I've traveled my whole career, in effect, we have for mm -hmm. two to three nights a week mm -hmm. for the last right. 15 years. Good and point. how's that working out for you? Yes. <laughs> Put me on the couch. Well, he's still married. I will tell you this. We were in a hotel this past weekend, oh, and ooh, we specifically, yes, right we specifically it. got the two queens, and we slept in separate beds. Yeah. What? What? Okay, so no. Here's okay. the deal. <laughs> okay, we're all like. Mm. I think that I doesn't know, mean I know where you're going with right. this. I think, and I actually agree. But okay, finish go your on. thought. The go bed. On. The beds have two roles. One uh -huh. is a is a setting uh -huh. for another activity, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. And then there's a setting for the sleep uh -huh. activity. Uh -huh. All right. Right. Yeah. And just because <laughs> you do one and the same doesn't mean you have mm -hmm. to do both in the same. Okay. Bed. You know, when people say that they sleep in separate beds, beds but in the same room, I always think of like Fred and Wilma Flintstone. Yes, and like yes. The old, like and the in Dick the Van Dyke show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but two. for me, it's, I, I don't, we don't sleep apart. We do not, we do not sleep apart. However, comma, <laughs> I get hot. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And every couple has like their different their thing. quirks, yes. the things that make them yes. most comfortable when they go to sleep. And sleep is super duper important yes. for uh, every absolutely. aspect of life. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I advocate for people to take care of themselves 24 hours a day, hey. including in the bedroom, which not only accounts for the intimacy, like sure. you were saying, but also for their sleep, because there is nothing like not getting a good night's right. sleep. Right, right. And not being As comfortable you said, when you sleep. it impacts every aspect of your life. Right. You're right, I think I immediately go to like, oh, the separate beds, right. but, but if you look at it in terms of the separating the intimacy yes. from the actual activity right. of sleeping, what do you think? Well, I was just gonna say, I agree with Dr. Tiffany. We have had this thing in our house this week where Lee has all of a sudden decided that he cannot sleep with any of the blankets on him, so he puts mm -hmm. them all on me after I've fallen asleep, and I wake up like I'm in the no. dentist chair getting x-rays. <laughs> 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 I'm like, that. what's happening? It's so stifling. Yeah. But, yeah so. It's a lot. There's something to be said for it. A yeah. great marriage and takes a balance of separateness and togetherness. You have to have that balance. Yeah. And sleeping, like you've like said, is so, so vitally important. Mm -hmm. so, In yeah. every aspect of our life. If yes. we don't get good sleep, like there are times where like I've stayed at a hotel yeah. or you know traveling or whatever and there is nothing like getting in a bed and just star fishing it out. Yeah, yep. star yeah. fish. Yes. Yep. Do I, it. I, and even yeah. on a Sunday if I'm taking a nap and I go yeah. upstairs to the bedroom, I'm lying all the way across yeah. the bed. Diagonal. I, I'm yes. not just staying in my corner. I like yes. having the full circumference of the all bed. Right. So right. About, so, so I'll tell you, about 15 years ago or so our kids were much, young, much younger and we were going on a date night and my wife did something that really changed our marriage. And she took this mm. balance of separateness together, seriously. She took all of her stuff, all of her clothes, all of her toiletries, and moved into the kids' bathroom to get ready for our date. And mm. I was like, what's going on? She's like, you know what? When we were dating, you got to see the finished product. You didn't get to see how the sausage gets made throughout the process, oh, and I want to okay. present that. Yeah. And then I began thinking, you know what? I don't want her seeing me sitting on the toilet with black socks on before we go on yeah. a date. Yeah. You know, it's well, well, that. nobody wants to see that. So that's it. Do you still do that? Yeah, yeah. Every time we go on for a date night, we sit on the toilet. Separate. You sit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so yeah. what do you think about this? One mar marital therapist and author, Andrew mm -hmm. G. Marshall, says he suspects one reason. Cut now, by the way, suspects uh, couples may sleep apart is because because they can't stand the sight of each other. Mm. Therefore, time apart actually improves their feelings for each other. Well, that's, uh, that's not a roommate. That's, that's, that's not because when you're asleep, your roommate. eyes are closed yeah, anyway, so you're not right. gonna see each other. Like, but, if you don't I mean, wanna, if you can't stand the sight of each other, then it's not just those eight hours that you're No, honey, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, it's like you, got, you might need to be wasted time. I don't think he can stand the sight of his wife. 
Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. no kidding. Yes. Projecting on the rest of us. Another yeah. expert says there's a great myth out there that sleeping separately is an indicator that the marriage is about to fail. Not mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. It's not what couples do during the night, but what they do during right. the day. Absolutely. Along your I say, some have legit medical problems too. Yes. Like, right. Some people snore or right. yeah, machine right. and stuff. Yeah, right. Sleep together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but um, I mean, I, I would think right. What's happening more importantly is is the way the that wake you, hours, the wake <laughs> hours that you are <laughs> communicating. Hours. For sure. And especially if you are having that time to reconnect and be intimate at the right. end of the day, and then I guess you go your separate ways. Well, let's Can make I a correction real quick. Mm -hmm. Just because you knocked boots doesn't mean you were actually intimate. Whoa. Right? Intimacy, yeah. just because you slept in the same Breaking bed doesn't mean you were intimate with yeah. each other. Mm -hmm. Intimacy can be, hey, we're working to share our fears about an empty nest. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's an intimate conversation. Right. I know tons of couples in doing therapy over the years that they, they connected with their genitals, but that didn't mean they connected Ooh. with mm -hmm. their eyes. Wow. Right? Genitals. <laughs> I'm sorry. Goodness, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm like a perpetual 12-year-old. Yes. I've used a clinical time. term. No, you did. Other you know what? That's right? very, yeah. very true. Right. So... You, there's not a sense of loss of intimacy strictly because you Absolutely sleep in separate not. beds. No. And that's, I think there's a stigma truly though right. attached to that. Right. Um, I guess I have, I feel like to have um, friends that then um, would sleep in separate beds once the kid, when the kids were babies, when they were nursing, whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I then it just them. carried over. Yeah. So yeah. I always, I remember Jim just thinking like that was the worst thing. Mm -hmm. Like so-and-so, do you know, so and so says that his wife, they, she sleeps in. And some people, separate, I mean, there you know. are so many reasons why people right. do it. Right. Right. So it's really hard to like pigeonhole it into this category. Well, your marriage is doomed because you sleep. Well, no, yep. I like to fall asleep with the TV on and I'm actually being considerate Ooh. to my partner. To your partner. Right. Yes. Yeah, yes. By going into another yeah. room or sure. something. Like, there's so many reasons. Right. And I, yeah. I, I dislike studies like this because it makes us feel bad for things that are actually helping our marriage right. out. I will say this. I do have a bias towards couples that never go to sleep at the same time. Oh. That oh. never kind of begin the bedtime yeah. ritual at That's the same so time. That's so funny. So that my yes. parents did that every single night. Mm. They went to bed together we at the exact same yeah. time, and my husband and I never do. We never do. And we it do. is a problem. It, it is. is a problem. It is. Yeah. Really? <laughs> well, Karen, let's talk. Why is it? She digs right in. I love well, it. Why? No. It is. <laughs> tell us, Karen. But it, it's no connection time that if one, somebody falls asleep first. Yeah. That is true. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, there's mm -hmm. always the tap on the shoulder, you know. Yeah. Oh, so are what you asleep? Are you asleep? asleep, are you asleep? That is <laughs> yeah, are you, but then you're right. That is because then if that happens <laughs> right. and you are, ooh, everything just got real loud suddenly. Uh -huh. um, when that happens, I know if I'm truly in the, in a dead sleep, yeah. I'm going to be like, honey, not right now. So well, how do you? Sorry. I'm going to tell the guys. <laughs> hey, well, here's the deal. I'm going to tell the guys out there right. this. Okay. Look, if oh. you are waiting until the moment when the covers are drawn and right. the lights are out, Thank and you, you. you're reaching Wait, across with you, some huh? econ hand to test no. some strategic right. location, mm -hmm. and then if there's no response, you just pull that hand the right on back, location. right? I mean, that's the, that is how the yeah. that's like the universal <laughs> passive aggressive way right. of yes. initiating sex, and it does not have any possibility of creating. The electric connection that you really, right. really right. want. Right. You gotta start Absolutely. that process Early. long before you know what? going to bed at the same time. But by the way, thank you, I can hear you because this thing's full blast. Okay. Um, <laughs> we only have two minutes. Okay. Jim got mad though. A lot of couples we talk about scheduling intimacy. Yeah. Yep. And I said something joking, but I guess yeah. it hurt his feelings. And mm. I said, sweetie, you know, I'm going through the change. You gotta catch me before 10 30. Yeah. Right. Like, let's try <laughs> and, and that do hurt his feelings? Yeah. Yeah, he's like, um, it just didn't seem like it's he goes, like, Oh, now romantic? you're trying to because it wasn't real. He's like, oh, now you're just, it's another thing well, you're putting on the schedule. And I'm like, no. at least I'm wanting to put yeah. it on the schedule. Right. Yeah. I'm saying when the kids go down, right. before you grab that clicker for Netflix, honey, let's. Yeah. Hey. Before you go What's to wrong sleep, you can come back downstairs and Netflix yeah. and chill. Right. Later. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. But he, it was the way that I worded it. Right. It was like, oh, another thing you want, we're trying to schedule. For me, oh. putting sex on the schedule, is, mm -hmm. it does not have to be the death of your intimacy and oh, your sex life. Not. I feel like anything that's important to you in your life, you put on a schedule. If it's a doctor's yes. appointment, a kid's soccer game, a meeting at work, anything, all those things are on your calendar. You schedule them. Yeah. Why? Because they're important to you. You don't Look want to Forget them, you yeah. look forward to them, all of those things. Yeah. So if you say, baby, 10 30, mm -hmm. you need to be upstairs. Right. But guess yeah. what? Exactly. He's gonna have his behind upstairs. Uh, that's right. He needs to be that's ready. Right. 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 Yeah, be ready. Five, right. Yes. Also, but we've also talked about the quality true, versus true. the quantity sure. of intimacy. Well, we, we take a little true. turn. <laughs> right. And, and that, you <laughs> know, experts. if you want, if, if, you don't well, want also sleepy, you need to recognize Christine. the difference in male and female sexuality. <laughs> that it's not as fun. Women take 
can take longer, right? And sometimes, for, for a lot of times, women, arousal <laughs> comes after wow. engagement. So, let me help yes. you right? not, not before. Right. Not before does, so I always yeah. talk about women being like a classic car. Right, okay. you crank it up, but you let it sit there for a while. Yeah. You know, so it warms Hi, up like a rap. little bit before you. <laughs> no. like, now, no, no, men no. tend to Take be time. like these Ferraris where you yeah. just crank it up crank and go. It up and right. go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You got to let it, give us a little bit of time. Listen yeah. to get Admire lubricated. It. You we're know, gonna gonna the we're going to have to go. I mean, yeah. yes. Moral of this story is just keep <laughs> the intimacy going. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care if you're in separate beds. Just keep it. Keep it going. Keep it going.